Hello guys, in this script demo, I'm going to be showing you a script that I created that temporarily saves any folder path to the script by pressing a key twice and open the folder when you press the key once. You can change the folder path to any other folder you want by pressing the key twice again in the other folder. If you're interested in this video, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste my script over to my temporary script over here. This script is going to be made available online at my website. So, and I'll be showing you how to access the script later on by the end of the video. All right, so let's start. So I've got two methods, method one and method two. I'll explain you why method two is there. But for uh, most purposes, method one is going to work. Let me just go ahead and run the script and t show you how this works. I'm going to open up my desktop folder. And then let's say I'm working on something and that something is going to involve saving a lot of temporary files into a new folder that I just created. Let's say now I want a hotkey to open up this folder, but I don't want to necessarily update my script or create a new script. Um, just to save this temporary folder that I'm going to be deleting in future. I can run this script that I created and have it save the path, this path into its memory. So I can um, call upon it whenever I want to by using the key F3. So how this works is if I press F3 twice quickly, it's going to save the path of the folder into its memory like that. So you saw just now a small tooltip showing up next to my mouse cursor and that showed the name of the folder. So it successfully registered the folder path. So what it's going to do is if I get out of the folder and press F3 one more time, but only once, it's going to open up that folder. Now this memory can obviously be updated. So if I go back out to desktop and let's say I create another folder and I want the hotkey to update the folder path to this folder. I just need to press the F3 key again twice quickly and you'll see the same tooltip but this time you'll see the the new folder's name, new folder 2 and well, if I exit out of the folder and press F3 once it will open up the new folder. Right? And this key also uh, works when you have the folder open already um, but it's sent to the background, it's not in focus. If you press it again, it's going to bring up, bring it up to the front. Alright, so that's how the script works in practice. Um, let me just quickly go over the script with you line by line, because it's a short one. Um, so, hot, the hotkey is F3, and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to wait until you lift the hotkey. And once you lift the hotkey, and once you lift the F3 key, what it's going to do is it's going to wait for another um, instance of you pressing down the F3 key over a period of 0 0.2 seconds and if you don't press the F3 key again then the error level is going to be set to 1 and therefore this if statement will be satisfied and it will try and run this variable called selected directory which is the variable that gets the folder path stored in when you press the F3 key twice um, which I'm going to explain just uh, just a little later. And there's a try uh, statement because uh, you might have uh, nothing saved in the selected directory variable and that's going to cause an error. So if you run the script then if you don't press the F3 key twice but if you press the F3 key once then there's not nothing going to be saved in the variable and therefore that's going to cause an error and therefore there's a try statement uh, in order to avoid showing up that error message. Now if you did press the F3 key within a period of 0.2 seconds is going to go into the else statement and the first thing it's going to do is going to, it's going to get the uh, unique ID of the active window and then using the unique ID of the active window it's going to get the get the title of the active window um, and save that into the variable called folder name and then it's going to run a for loop for every object within shell application windows, so every window that you have open, and if the object's document folder title equals the folder name, it's going to break out of the loop and then use that 
objects document folder self path so the folder path to save that into selected directory that you saw just now here and show the folder name in the tooltip wait for one second and then close this tooltip out that's pretty much it so once this um, variable called selected directory has the folder path saved next time you run the run the hotkey um, it's going to open up that folder now there's just one catch for this script and therefore I've created another method down here which I'm going to explain to you in a bit um, the catch is that if you have say let me go back to that example so if you have um, desktop new folder open and then this time you have another new folder open but that is saved in another directory so you have two folders up here now that are named the same new folder and new folder now if i run the f3 hotkey now to save try and save the folder path of this folder not that one while this folder is active if i exit out of both and run f3 hotkey to open up the folder it opens up the other folder not the folder that i wanted to save the folder path of and that's because the names of both folders are the same so there's going to be a chance that you might be opening up the wrong folder that has the same folder name as as the folder name that you have saved using that script and therefore the second method is created now the way the second method works is almost the same as the first method except that um, it uses a different method to get the folder path of the active folder. Now you can just use the second method from the get-go instead of using the first one you can skip the first one entirely but the only thing that I don't like about the second method is the use of send command and this is necessary in order to access the folder path of the active folder. Um, it, it, this works perfectly it's just a cosmetic thing that I don't really like about this method but it works so let me just show you how this works so uh, the script is running so it's gonna it's going to work so if I press F4 this time quickly twice it's gonna do the same thing but you saw a quick flash of the the folder path uh, because it sent the keys alt T and ES C exit uh, immediately um, so that folder path is saved so if I get out and press F4 it's going to open up that folder it's not going to run into the same problem as the first method because it grabs this whole folder path instead instead of trying to uh, match the, the folder name within the open windows all right so let me just quickly go over the second method with you the first part of the second method is the same up until this part and here we've got the same command what this does is it does uh, a sending of alt d and then press ese immediately what that does is as you saw the address bar got highlighted and that is necessary because what it does is it makes a control that is called edit one which is this control visible if you don't do that it's for some reason it's not visible to the script and what i mean by that is the next line grabs the list of controls within the active folder or the folder uh, that has a unique id stored within hwnd when once it gets the list of controls which should include this one it gets the value that is in that address bar and saves it into selected directory now and then this is just another command to grab just the folder name right from the whole path i mean i could have used the win title method as well um, but i just use this both ways work and the second line massages the folder name into just what we want and displays the folder name right so that's basically it now that's it for this script demo um, if you want to access this script go to my website juho-li.com and go to archive 
select the auto hockey icon and select the drop down list and go all the way down and look for Juho's auto hockey script demo number one. Save active folder path to memory and open it with hotkey. Uh, once you click it, the script will be there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.